Hello and welcome to GDB Watchpoint. My name's Finn and today Greg's asked me to run through how I have Emacs set up to work with GDB. There's actually quite a lot of built-in functionality into Emacs to make working with GDB easier. So let's jump right in and, uh, and start Emacs. So here we go. This is, this is a vanilla install of Emacs, got none of my personal config loaded at all. Uh, so if you just install Emacs fresh, you should see something pretty much identical to this. Um, and if I want to start playing around with GDB, all I need to do is type metarex GDB. You can see down in the, uh, in the mini buffer here, I've entered the command, and if I hit return, it asks me how I want to start GDB. Um, and this command I'm typing in here is, uh, is actually more or less exactly what I would type if I was on the command line. Um, you notice that there's this dash i equals mi option. That's just telling GDB that it's running inside an IDE. Uh, and it, it kind of changes the output of GDB to make it better to, for, the, for the IDE to parse. But uh, all that's hidden behind the scenes in, in Emacs. You won't see any of that. You just need to add this option. Um, and you'll notice that actually Emacs added that option for me. I didn't actually have to do anything. Uh, so if I hit return again, you can see GDB starts up inside Emacs. And this looks more or less the same as it might do if you were running GDB on the command line itself. Um, the main difference is that uh, you can see right away, a lot of our toolbar up here has changed. This isn't the default Emacs toolbar, and these aren't the default Emacs menu options. Uh, and as we start to play with GDB, you know, this will become uh, more useful than it is right now. So if I, let's let's set a breakpoint um, on uh, breakpoint on main. Here we go, and we see it set a breakpoint, all looking kind of similar to the command line now. Let's let's run the program, and sure enough, it opens up as you might expect, opens up the source code. Uh, and here we can now start to use these buttons to step around and, uh, and investigate the program. Uh, if I just continue the program to the end, you can see it actually printed out all the output to a new window, uh, an input output window. Um, so right, right off the bat, Emacs is, is separating out uh, the, you know, the source code, the, the program output, the, the interpreter, all into separate windows. And uh, indeed, if, if we actually look in some of these options up here, we can see there are other things, uh, other windows we can see. We can have a look at the breakpoints. There's a separate window for that. And um, there's a separate window for I don't know, disassembly. Um, there's nothing there because the program's not, not running. Let's, let's fix that. We can go to GDB, get this window back open and type run. Let's, let's give it some options this time. Uh, we've hit that breakpoint in main. And you can see in the main function down here, we've now got some disassembly. Uh, we've got the input output window still. Uh, and we can continue this to the end. It's, it's starting to get a little bit cluttered now, you might notice, uh, as, we, as we kind of open up all these windows. And um, there is actually a better way to do this. I don't usually open up all the windows separately and, and sort of have this cluttered view. Um, and that is it's called GDB many windows. So if I go to the to the mini buffer again, type meta x, and at the bottom you see GDB many windows. If I now hit return, you can see that this is this is looking a lot neater now. This is looking more like a kind of your classic, what you might expect from an IDE. Um, and this is actually how I tend to run GDB inside Emacs. Uh, and you know we, we've got the uh, every all the functionality is left unchanged. We can still run the program as normal and hit the breakpoints and, and kind of step through things and, and investigate what's going on, finish a function, see a backtrace, see our local variables, all that stuff, um, which is pretty great. Um, there is, however, one problem with this, the way I've set it up right now, and that's that it doesn't persist over multiple Emacs sessions. So if I, if I quit out of Emacs completely, back to the command prompt and start everything up again. Uh, run GDB again, run it on LS again. You see we're kind of back where we started now. I've lost all my, my config. And that's really frustrating. Right? You don't want to have to go in and type GDB, many windows again, and go through this, this rigmarole every time. So what you can actually do is, uh, 
it's, let's let's set this up to be the default now. So if I again hit MetaX and then use the command customize and hit return, uh, this is Emacs sort of option internal options setting and search for GDB. See, there's actually kind of a, a whole bunch of, of different options in here. Uh, we can actually search now for many windows. Here we are, and we can. We can toggle this now as many times as we want. Let, let's put, leave it on because we just we just switched it on um, for this session at least. Uh, let's have a look through some others in here. What might what might we want? Uh, GDB show main. Let's uh, let's have a look at that. Non nil means display source file containing the main routine at startup. That sounds useful, right? Because we didn't have the source file open when we started GDB. So let's toggle that on as well uh, and head up to the top and save things. Save all this. Um, now I can quit out completely. Imagine I, this is another day. I come back, I want to do some debugging. Um, let's, let's maximize this. And now if I type GDB, start it on LS again, you see we go straight into GDB many windows. And not only that, we also opened up this file ls.c, which should contain the main routine. Yep, it does. Uh, let's set a breakpoint and start this program off. You can actually set a breakpoint just by clicking on the uh, on the gutter here. So I'll set a breakpoint there and click run. Sure enough, we hit the breakpoint here, and I can step into this function and start start my debugging session. And that's basically how I have Emacs set up uh, to run GDB. Uh, almost exactly what you've seen seen me do right here. Um, so yeah, that's, I think that's that's more or less it for today. It's Thanks for watching and hopefully see you again next time.